So John, vSphere customers have often had the ability to uh, use several different storage device types as the boot media, things like um, you know, SD cards, USB uh, devices, and so forth. Which option should they choose for a vSAN environment? So there's kind of two different historical modes of install. There was what we called embedded mode to where you would install using uh, SD or USB or uh, a boot from LUN that was under five gigabytes. And this would redirect a bunch of stuff into a RAM disk. Um, and this has been an option for a very long time. There's also doing what's called a full install. And this is where you would have uh, historically people would, you know, buy drives and even a RAID controller. There's some newer options. There's been SATA DOMs a while back. Now you have these M.2. Uh, they look a bit like a gum stick. In fact, I've even got one handy here. Here's an M.2. This one's sitting on a PCIe riser card. Nice, huh? So mm -hmm. this is actually becoming the dominant technology for a number of reasons. Um, one, vSphere, uh, in terms of using that embedded install and redirecting to RAM disk, you, you lost some capabilities. So if you didn't redirect that to somewhere else persistent, if you ever had an issue with a host uh, crash dumps uh, getting stored in a, in a RAM drive or logs being stored in a RAM drive, if you had a host crash or some issue you're trying to root cause, um, if that host reboots, you lose those logs, you lose those crash dumps. It's kind of hard to get an RCA with that. Um, the other thing also is, is in terms of boot performance, uh, SD cards actually are much slower on boot up. Um, and, and boot matters, you know, if you're ever going to do an emergency change window or something, or you're just doing patch operations and you've got a mandate for eyes on glass, you don't just go eat a sandwich while you patch your host. Anything that speeds that up, um, you know, definitely matters. Also, the, the endurance of these devices are a lot better uh, than SD. We just see less failures in the wild. Uh, the general trend I would say in the year 2021 is it's it's time to stop buying SD cards, stop buying USB, um, and and grow up and and get kind of real real boot devices. And so mm. talk to your vendors. Um, I've seen HP has this thing that basically puts two of these within kind of a drive sled. Uh, Dell has their boss device. Cisco even has an option now. So please talk to your vendors. I promise you they they've got a better solution than an SD card for you today. So even though it was uh, maybe an ideal solution seven, eight, nine years ago, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's it's the best fit now, given the considerations of, over uh, how the architectures are and and uh, some of the demands of the boot device itself. Then I would imagine, huh? Yeah, no. There's there's increasingly more demand for more services uh, out of the host hypervisor. Um, and yeah, I, this is something that I think a lot of us have done just because we always did it. And I, I think it's time to reevaluate that decision yeah. and not just kind of blindly, hey, I did this 10 years ago. Let's keep doing it. It's time to move on. 